Okay, let's take a quick look at this rather amazing app called Snapheel. It is astonishing. Right, we're on the start screen here. This is where you can load your pictures by dragging and dropping them into the window here. You can load them by clicking on this little icon. You can import them by clicking on this one or, as I'm going to do, I'm going to open recent. We're now in Murcia in Spain and I just like this scene, but these bollards are just a little bit too much on the intrusive side. We're on the Arrays tab. This is fantastic. We're going to zoom in using the zoom tool here. So let's pop into this area. I'm going to press down the space bar. This means we can move our way around the picture like this. Now, looking at the size of the brush, the diameter of the brush, you can actually use the slider here for making it bigger and or smaller. I actually like to use the left-hand square bracket to make it smaller. So just using the left-hand square bracket just to make it smaller. Right hand will make it bigger. So that's the square brackets on the keyboard. Just bringing it over that area like that looks pretty good. Let's come to this bollard here. Just reducing the diameter a little bit because it's further away. Left-hand square bracket has done the job. Just dragging it down like that. It's just the bollard we want to cover, a little bit of the base there, not too much like that. You can also use the deselect as well. Now with the deselect, you'll notice you've got the minus symbol. That means you can come in and we can just clean that up. And that's the reason for using that deliberate mistake. Right, moving on, using the spacebar again to move our way across. I'm going to just press the left-hand square bracket one more time just to click down and come over this bollard here, just dropping down like that, not forgetting that we have the sun, we've got shadows. Using the left hand square bracket to drop the size of the brush right the way down, going to come up over this shadow area here, over the shadow area there, and let's, while we're at it, pick up the rubbish because I think it's being placed there deliberately so we can show you how amazing this is at just removing small items as well as big items using Snap Heal. Yeah, right. Okay, coming across like that, let's uh, zoom out a little bit so we can see exactly what's going to happen. There's our bollards. Dropping down now to the arrays mode. We have got various arrays modes and it gives you a description underneath of what each one does. And this is the one we're going to use. It's best for deleting imperfections on skin and small objects. Let's give it a try. Clicking arrays and you can uh, sort of, yeah, you uh, start reading these amazing facts, which are absolutely brilliant. And the next thing you know, it disappears and you think, yeah, okay, what ballads. Doesn't it do a fantastic job? Let's take a look at these here. Again, zooming in using the zooming in tool. Aptly named that. Right, make using the right hand square bracket, let's make the brush a little bit bigger and just coming down, just change the size again. I thought I'd start on this one in the background, just have a bit of a change. Through we come like that and over the top of this one here, just taking it in. You know, I am doing a bit of a rush job. I know you'll do a much better job. The more effort you put into it, the better the reward you will get out of it. Is uh, And it's no exception. I know a lot of you that perhaps are using Photoshop. You may have older versions of Photoshop or Photoshop Elements that perhaps doesn't have the spot healing brush or content aware fill, that sort of thing. This is absolutely ideal. I know other people that do not use imaging editing software at all. You just take pictures on your phone, whatever. This is just amazing for this sort of thing where you can clean things up quickly and easily. Still using our wormhole there, going to click erase and through it goes and I didn't even get a chance to read what it just says or said even. Right, let's take a look at this one here. I'm going to come down, make the brush a little bit bigger using the right hand square bracket over this uh, area and just click in erase and through it goes. Job done. Right, let's just take a look at this lamppost here. Now, for this one, I'm going to change it to the clone and stamp. Yeah, sounds pretty amazing. We've still got our brush. What I want to do is I want to take this part of the pillar and I want to cover it over our lamp here. So we're going to come across, going to press the Option key. We're going to click down in the center here and bring it across to the center on this one. If I click down, you can see there's the diameter of the brush. It is 60 pixels, the softness. It's a soft edge brush. The opacity is set at 100%. I'm just going to come down over that area like that and just across a little bit. And there it is. It's gone. Right, let's just come up, picking up the pixels from this part of the image, just clicking down, coming across, looking for that little red spot there. That's going to give us the size. We're going to come over like this and just come in and just 
take that up you see it disappearing there in the background there it is job done picking up the pixels from here bringing them over there and clicking down once again just removing that lamp doing a very quick job on this as you can probably see but if we come in it is amazing it's simply amazing what uh, this app can actually do as we click in there just a little bit of a jutter not sure this is yeah it looks okay coming down he says I know you will do a better job this is a rather quick demo after all right coming into this part so I'm going to pick up the pixels from here because we have got our handrail coming in over there which I don't particularly want coming down need to drop down a little bit further I want to pick up the corner of this ledge here so coming in for the corner of the ledge just lining it up with a red, little red spot coming across and down over this area here I'm going to readjust it for the curb otherwise somebody will trip and then you'll get sued under health and safety right zooming out using the minus tool there it is there or you could go to the fitting screen that would be even better let's just take a look clicking on this icon will compare the before and the after look at the difference you can make and you've seen just how quickly I have done it but there's more you can come into it you also have the brush tool here now this is retouching now saturation let's give it a bit more saturation you can also do contrast blur lighten dark and sharpen and you've got the paint and you've got the erase tool I've just got the brush tool here we got the saturation that's fine I'm just going to paint over the areas of blue and red I just want to bring those out a little bit more like that fantastic or what grab hold of the slider you can see the areas that you're actually working on there so you can make them a little bit brighter or perhaps just take them down a touch or two entirely up to you you can also come in clicking on this adjust tab you've got the full range of brightness contrast exposure color temperature hue saturation and you've got the shadows the light the dark and right the way through including sharpen and denoise right once you've done that you may want to crop and adjust your picture for example you can sort of pick the crop tool up like this and perhaps just crop it down which would have saved a lot of work removing bollards but it's entirely up to you I like the composition so leaving that as it is you can of course rotate it as well once you have finished doing all that you can save it or you can choose to share it on your social networking site such as uh, Facebook Flickr, Flickr Twitter or just email it and of course not just that but you can also select the size the resolution that you want to email it at just simply brilliant I couldn't get over it it is amazing what it actually does let's just come back to the first tab let's just click on the before and after and there it is as you see it's just a very quick demo of what this tool can do it's amazing so if you haven't got the latest version of Photoshop if you haven't got imaging editing software don't worry with something like snap heel you can do a pretty amazing job go on give it a try until the next time it's happy imaging and take care